understand this game. Why is it so popular? Hmm. It must be enjoyable, too. They spend a great part of their day just sitting there having fun. <laughs> Another goal has been scored. <laughs> this must be where the competition begins. The players are armed with survival kits, obviously some kind of contact sport. Sometimes I gotta mm. tell you, man. A Give hostile me a confrontation. I warned you, and I warned you. Let me work! You're not supposed to be here. Control, I'm leaving. All right, fine. It's like you're missing a very rich opportunity. What? That helpless old human is under attack. Listen, old man. This is our neighborhood now. You have no right. There's three of us, one of you. It gives us lots of rights. I'm just trying to make a living. If you came to his aid, it would look very good on my report. But these humans always seem to need so much help. Very well. But that kind of attitude will only prolong your stay on this irritating planet. And of greater significance, I will be forced to stay with you. You're an old man. Go somewhere and die, will you? Oh. What are you doing? He's an old man. He's confused. You know how they are. It's my law. And they took it away? Yes. Where is his lawn? What the hell are you talking about, man? Yeah, no, man. Why don't you back off? The lawn. Give him back the lawn! Ah, this guy's crazy! Put him down, man!
job. On a break? A break what? <laughs> For lunch. 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 Cachitos, mm, tamales. Mm. <laughs> okay. I'll break now, you break later. For, For lunch. lunch. <laughs> now you got it. <laughs> what is lunch? Fascinating. The same ritual is being performed at all of these dwellings. Destroying vegetation? It appears to have deep religious significance. Humans get down on their knees to pay homage to plant life they call lawns. These must be sacred grounds. Um, I didn't mean any harm to your sacred objects. What? Don't worry, they always grow back. They come back every year. Is this your dwelling? Used to be. Hi. Hello, Aaron. Is there something we can do for you? Yeah. You can let me live in my own house. I, I'm not going through this again with you, Erin. Nothing's changed. these humans. Yeah. They seem to care more about their lawns than they do their young. I'm going with her. Why? Perhaps another rich opportunity? Hmm. May I make a few suggestions? Wait! You got a smoke? What? A cigarette. I take it you don't smoke. Uh, I haven't so far. Is it something I, I should expect? I'll just stop at this door. Oh, geez, um, you only have a couple of dollars you could loan me, too? Oh, money? Yes. Oh, no. You must work for money. Look, I forgot my wallet. Can you just do me a favor? Listen, just loan me a couple bucks. I'll pay you back tomorrow. Listen, if you don't trust me, just forget it. Uh, I trust you. Is this enough? country? You don't look bored. I do to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have some friends who'd love to meet you.
Yes. Is that with me? What's it gonna be? Food. We, we break for lunch. I can handle my father okay, you know. Well, most of the time, anyway. She's the one. She's turned him against me. You wouldn't believe what she's done to me. Your mother? She's not my mother. She's my stepmother. My mother left a long time ago. She's my father's second wife. What has she done to you? Hmm. Sounds like living in prison, you know? Yes, prison. Prison, I understand. Now, I could not breathe. I mean, I really couldn't breathe. Did she cut off your oxygen supply? This is all the rules. I mean, I couldn't move without breaking one of her lousy rules. It's hard to catch up. Nobody gave a damn about you when you came home. How did you know? I know guys like that. A lot of them were down on the street. You meet your price? Well, now my parents are into this tough love garbage. It's like they've been brainwashed against me. All I want to do is come home and they won't let me. If it is so terrible for you to live at your house, why do you so much want to return there? anything if she gets hurt out there. This could be the last chance left to save her life, Jim. I talked to the therapist again yesterday. He says that by taking her back now, we'd be telling her everything she's doing is okay. Cutting school, running away, getting high, lying, stealing. We are not saying it's okay. Just that she can get away with it. You and I both know she can't. She's coming apart, Jim. We all were. And it will all start again if we give in. I can't live like that. I know. I remember. The therapist says Aaron needs us to be firm now. That's the whole idea of tough love. That no matter how much it hurts us, we can't take her home until she's committed to making changes. See, my crew is waiting. I have to... I have to fly a load of engine parts up north. I... Maybe you're right. This may be Aaron's only chance to, uh, to find herself. I don't know. I hope so. When I hear a siren screaming down some dark street in the distance, and I close my eyes, and I see her face, Who's your friend? My name is Jesse. What's yours? Oh, I'm a... 
Officer Stark. This is Officer Roman. We're here to serve and protect. Yeah, these kids are easily exploited by all sorts of low life. Just eating lunch with me, okay? Well, it's a pleasure I haven't had yet, Dollface. Oh, why don't you sit down and enjoy it? A comedian? Would you like us to run you in? I'm not in a hurry. But we could walk. I'll listen. I'll see you later, okay? Uh, we got things to discuss, honey. Don't get lost. Well, I'll see you later, okay? You forgetting something? Like fifty-four dollars and twenty cents. Um, tomorrow will be fine. No, it wouldn't. Tomorrow. Uh, okay, so I'll spread them. Pursuit of suspect on foot running east on Hollywood Boulevard. Request backup. Consider. Unit 54, please assist. In pursuit of suspect, vicinity of Levingston and 30. <laughs> This crazy guy one night. So we figure it's safer we just stay together. Hey, Mike. We gotta take care of each other. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. <laughs> Nobody hassles you. Nobody to order you around. And it's free. <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me about a place like this? I didn't see you give money for these. Oh, well, that's because I bought them before I met you. Oh, cigarettes. I forgot I had them. <laughs> no, I'm not hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry about what happened, Jesse. Why wouldn't they take dollars tomorrow like you would? Because too many people would rip them off. Cheat them? You would have really gone back there tomorrow, wouldn't you? As soon as I got money. You can't let people rip you off, Jesse. Not even me. I won't do it again. I believe you. What's 
he doing here? It's our fault. He's in trouble. This place is for kids, man. You better leave. He's with me. Yeah, well, our friends ain't gonna like it. Well, they don't have to know. He stays. If you want to, I mean. Well, it's a nice place you have here. Well, then he earns a stay like everybody else. You understand? So you in or out? Work, yes. I want to work. Good. <laughs> what kind of work do we do at night? See these mansions? You know who lives here? Winners of the big game? <laughs> Good way to put it. All they care about is money, and we're going to take our share. Take? It's kind of like, um... Robin Hood? Ah, uh, yes, Robin Hood, the great warrior with the bow and the arrow. Yes, they talked about him on television. Yes, he, he took from the rich, and he gave to the poor. Jesse, there is no Robin Hood. No? This isn't a game. Listen, why don't you just wait for us back at the church? I don't want you to get into trouble. There must be no trouble for you. It's a little late for that now. Look, they're on a cruise ship to Cabo San Lucas. The security system covers the first floor only. No problem. The dogs are kindled. This should be a breeze. We'll be cruising the neighborhood if you have a problem. You off, isn't it? This is how we survive. We steal. Where's the girl? In trouble. Why aren't you helping her? I don't know how to. She doesn't fit into her world any better than I fit into mine. How am I, of all creatures, supposed to help her? There is a veritable wealth of information on the family structure in the video banks of this planet. Watch. How has this happened? Have you had so much leeway you can't handle it? Am I going to have to become a, a tyrant to keep you in line? Tyrant? All right. If I have to be a tyrant, I'll be one. If discipline has to be enforced around here, I'm just the fellow who can do it. What's more, I intend to do it. My scanning concludes that most video adults solve their children's problems in exactly huh? one half hour. Some even deal with two problems. For example, the Grand Master, known as Ward Cleaver. Oh, seems to me Wally is the one who should be tired. Me, Dad? That oh, was a great job you did on the lawn. Best shot I've ever seen it. Well, about the lawn. I think you get swelled up too, Dad. Why, it's the best lawn mowing in the whole world. Erin must return to her home. Somehow I must reunite that family. A peace mission from uh -huh. you? Why not? Because you are more skilled at war than you are at peace. All my warrior skills are useless here. I must learn new skills. Skills of negotiation. Hmm. Yes, I have just the thing in my video bank. It's a program called Let's Make a Deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Good night's work. Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. you guys are doing a great job. Great job. Hey. <laughs> Stop. I think they're ready. Hell huh? yes. They've earned it, huh? What? Step up in the world, my man. Consider it a graduation present. <laughs> hey. How about if you and I go someplace and celebrate, don't we? No, thanks. Oh, come on. What do you give me such a rough time for? Because you're a pig. <laughs> Leave the lady alone. Look, if he gives you a hard time, you just call me. You understand? Thanks. Wait. We still got some business to discuss. You know what I'm talking about? Aaron, you can leave now. Jesse, what are you doing here? Yeah, Jesse. How long have you been here anyway?
my name is Jesse. I need to talk to you about Erin. Is she all right? Are you a policeman? No. I have been with the young people. It is my mission to help. Oh, like a, a social worker. Come on in. What kind of trouble is she in? She steals to survive. Oh. I'm afraid she will end up like me, serving hard time. You were in prison? Uh, I, I was sent here for rehabilitation. Oh, you were on parole. Well, I, I am here trying to prove that I am ready to return home. It's decent of you to try and help these kids. Yes, Erin is in need to return to the family unit. My princess, kitten, and butt. Well, it sounds like you've helped quite a few of them. We love our daughter, Jessie. We really want her to return home. Yes, I understand. In other societies and distant places, the youngest member of the family is believed to hold the souls of all the ancestors. Oh. Erin huh. didn't want anything to do with this family when she was living here, but now that we won't let her come home, it's, uh, it's really started to matter to her. I would like to help you negotiate your treaty with Erin. Do you think she's ready? Yes, she is ready. Then tell her we're willing to talk. Uh. <laughs> It'd be one of the easiest scores you've ever seen. The school we've been waiting for. Well, mostly he's just taking papers and stuff. Yeah, and sometimes securities and sometimes industrial diamonds, right? Isn't that what you said? Hey, don't worry. No one's going to get hurt if that's what you're caring about. You do whatever you want to do. You can't do it without you, honey. You need to know what he's carrying and when. You need somebody with the inside story. And you're the only one who can get it for us. What the hell is your problem? That's the guy who kicked you out on your rear end. He doesn't care if he eats scraps out of the garbage can. Hey, everybody, mellow out, mellow out. Hmm? Don't push the lady if she don't want to be pushed. Do you think I'm stupid? Lay some dope on her and she'll come around. Get me out of here or I'll call a cop. An honest one. Little girls like you disappear off the streets all the time. It's good to know who your friends are. to see everyone who comes and goes. I was wondering, have you noticed this young human female? Is that a yes or a no? Well, make up your mind. Hmm, you may have a good eye, but no brain to match.
you been on this planet? Too long, man. I know what you mean. It feels like it's been light years for me. I've... We've been looking for you. I have to go for a ride. No big deal. I talked to your parents this morning. What for? They're ready to talk to you about returning to the family unit. Oh, they're going to let me come home? It's going to be a peace conference, and I am the mediator. I knew they'd change their minds. Thanks. <laughs> what was that you just did? A hug. <laughs> I didn't get enough hugs either. <laughs> it wasn't an unpleasant sensation. Only comes with two. Now, Jesse, pay attention. I've scanned every half hour and compiled the wisdom from all the video adults. No matter what situation arises in the peace meeting, I will have the appropriate response ready. Understood? Are you sure this is the right method? Absolutely. The knowledge of the great ones cannot be ignored. Robbie's considered a power hitter now. He's even learned to pull the ball. Oh, yeah? Well, sure, Robbie'd be glad to help you, wouldn't you, Robbie? <laughs> well, I can't teach you all I know, but I can give you a few tips. We'll all be glad to help you, won't we? <laughs> sure, we will. Sure, we will. Well, uh, how about it, Chip? Can you go again? <laughs> Aaron, we're glad you're here. So am I. Why aren't we doing this at home? Oh, well, the uh, therapist said it's better to meet on neutral ground. Daddy, you call the place where you work neutral ground? Would you prefer to meet in some back alley on Hollywood Boulevard? <laughs> now, hold on there, bub. I think we ought to hear what Chip has to say. Jesse's right, um, Aaron. We want to be a family again. Me too. Good. Good. It's not going to be easy. I think we both realize that. We need help, or it's not going to work. What do you mean? We talked to your therapist this morning at school, and she believes that it's best if you finish out the semester. I'm not going back there. Just until the semester ends. And then there'll be vacations and weekends. No. No. Aaron, you can't get what you want by running away. I didn't run away. You kicked me out from school. I just want to come home. Don't you understand, Beeve? You can't do what you want to do just because you're sharing a room. Wally's got rights, too. Jesse, our problem is a little bit more complicated than this TV therapy or whatever it is you're trying to do. Uh-oh. Listen, I don't want to fight anymore. You have no idea how hard it is for me out here. Then let us be your parents. I am. I finished the semester at school. Daddy. The tuition is very expensive, Aaron, and it's not refundable. All you care about is the money. That's not fair. I just need a rest right now. I don't even want to think about school. A rest? You just want to come home so that you can rest? Well, that's not good enough. Oh, well, nothing's good enough for you. I'm never good enough. And all your lousy rules aren't going to make me good Aaron, enough wait, either. Which rules now. are we talking about? Are we talking about being home on time? About going to school? About not smoking? About eating a juicy? No, I can't change. No, I can't change. Arguments, confrontation, latent hostility, negative outcome, not good. Wait a minute you now. We have to move more slowly with professional help. Forget it, Daddy. Just forget it. Aaron? They're never going to change. Some
someday they'll be really sorry. diamonds. Just like you said, dollface. Bringing them in tomorrow. Let's go. Your parents gave me something for you. From your house. The ones you grew. Remember? They'll always grow back. If they're taken care of. And if you're not there to take care of them? Then I guess they'll die. It's not my fault. I want to come home. They won't let me. It takes two sides to fight a battle, Ellen. And if one side stops, the conflict is over. And that side loses. What's left to lose? Sometimes we fight simply because it's happened. I can't change the way I am. I said that once. What happened? I'm here. That's the problem for people like us. If we don't learn to live within the rules, there's no place to fit in. No place in the universe. I just gotta run in and get cash for my dad. Oh, damn you. She double-crossed us. I just gotta run in and get cash for my dad, too. No, hey, 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 wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is 43. Give me a cop out here at the airfield. Hey! You're under arrest! Daddy! Aaron, what are you doing? What's that? You got something I want? Jeez, you guys sure got here in a hurry. You called this in? Yeah, yeah, I'm the one. 1075 was the fare. Right. Everything's under control. Go wait in your cab. What are you doing? I'm calling it off. Are you crazy? Nobody's calling anything off. It'll be okay. I love you, Danny. I know, honey. Cabby called in an alarm. There's gonna be a patrol car here any second. Everybody outside. Move out! Come on! 
need a character witness anytime, anywhere. I mean it, buddy. Thanks, Jesse. <laughs> it's a new beginning for you. Yeah, I know. It feels good to be here. I don't feel like I've lost at all. Don't ever think you've lost. I like this hugging. <laughs> it's possible the elders were expressing love when they exiled you, Jesse, just as the girl's parents did for her. I end here feeling the warmth and welcome of home. Someday. Come. It's getting cold. We must find a place to stay. Next on Hard Time on Planet Earth. You've done some soldiering before? Yes. I have a great experience as a warrior. Have you seen combat? Quite a bit. We teach junior high.
Vinny's adventures in the record business may spin out of control when a rival seeks revenge. It could be number one with a bullet later tonight on Wise Guy. But first, a vacation wish turns into a death wish as a tourist leads Jake and the Fat Man on a grisly murder trail next.